Hey what's up you guys, it's Audrey and welcome back to my channel or if you are new, bonjour and welcome. Today's video I'm just going to take you along my kind of homeschooling and then to dance schedule. Everyone always asks me a bunch of questions about this and kind of what I do for school and I think it's quite different for a lot of people because I do um, a few different curriculums and my mom um, taught like second and third grade. So she kind of, she's no, she's been homeschooling as well for like years now like 10 years 12 years and kind of knows what she's doing with this stuff so she's just kind of gathered things from different stuff that we've tried the one thing that i think you'll find is that i have a lot of free time and i have a lot of um i get things done pretty fast but the thing is that you have to think about is normal kids in school that you have to wait for other kids to finish things or you have to like hold back or speed up i i don't with this i can really go at my own pace and um, and yeah so i just do quite a different curriculums and different books it's not just like all in one thing but i'll let you guys know like what books i'm using as i go along or if you have any questions if i don't mention anything you can comment that below and i'll try to answer those as best as i can but yeah let's just get on with the video find a missing percent. That's where you find what percent one number is of another. Okay guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick um, like overview of what I just did because it might not have made any sense. But so I was doing science over there and so I used Exploring Creation with General Science, um, that book. I be I use like a lot of different books from those people, I'm pretty sure because I've done like anatomy, um, like nature I think from them, and then um, like astronomy. And so yeah, I finished my science basically for the week, and it's only Tuesday. So I did that in two days. All I have to do is the test, which I'll do tomorrow. So after every module in science, I do a test. So there's like a study guide and then the test. But I'll probably just do that tomorrow because I got it done so early for the week. And then for history, I started doing something different. In the beginning of the year, I was reading. I had like history books, but the books that I was reading, I just really didn't like. And so I'd end up, so I actually knew what I just read when I, like, what I, what I was learning that week. I would look them up on YouTube. I'd look up videos and try to figure out because the books I was reading just were not really helping. And so I started doing that so much and I was learning way more from the videos I was, like, searching for. Um, or just, like, articles you could also search for. Um, my mom decided she was just going to send me an email each week of links of the videos to watch for different things. So the first set of links was for a president and then I have one about um, the transgressional railroad and then one other thing I didn't see but I'll probably do that later in the week. Um, but today I just did the one about um, the president so I just took a couple notes on that and also saw me do math earlier and so I do teaching test textbooks and math with oh my used to do Saxon math like a lot of other homeschoolers do but um that is like in a normal textbook and I really wasn't it just wasn't going well for me I, I just couldn't like focus on it like just writing down in this textbook and it just wasn't making sense they weren't explaining it very well and so I would do that with my mom now this I can do mainly completely by myself if I have questions obviously my mom can come over but it's really awesome how the guy will teach you a lecture and then you will do them so anyways yeah I really really like that so if you have trouble with math or anything I don't know that's a really good one um so yeah I'm also doing pre-algebra and if you didn't know I'm in eighth grade so yeah I could be doing algebra but 
I don't know, I just decided to stick with pre-algebra this year, and yeah. Also, okay, I just wanted to say, I try to do everything for about 30 minutes. 30 minutes or more than that. I try not to do any less. So, for science, I went, I almost did science for about an hour, and then I think math I almost did for like 40 minutes, an hour, I'm not sure. But that usually takes either 40 minutes to an hour with that online math thing. Um, well, it's not really online, it's just like a CD. And then history, I just did that for about 30 minutes, and then I read my book that I read every month like I have a certain book I have to read so I'm reading this one um, about Frederick Douglass about his life it's actually written by him um, but so I'm just going to read this for 30 minutes and so everything's just kind of blocked like that and so I kind of started school around 9 I think and or like maybe it was 9 30 10 I don't I don't remember what time I started at but um, so I'll probably finish this at like 11 30 or 12 I'm not sure what time it is and then I will probably do grammar and I'll show you guys that but I do that with my mom so right now it is 11 50 and I just today I'm gonna do French and grammar and then it looks like I'm done so Hey guys, so basically ready for dance and I usually get ready around 2, 2.30 um, because usually I don't have my makeup done so that's why I start getting ready at 2. Um, but I already had it done so I got ready at like 2.40 today and I usually try to leave around 3, 3.15 and then my dance starts at um, 4 and I live about 15 minutes away. And my classes today from 4 to... Well, from 4 to 4.15, I have a warm-up class, and then 4.15 to 5.45, I have ballet, and then we have class, like, point class after that from 5.45 to 6.45, and it's usually variations or partnering today, and I think we're doing the Sugar Plum Fairy today, I'm not completely sure. Then we're also going to be rehearsing um, a dance that we have to do on Sunday at this place where I live, but that's basically my day at dance, and I'll catch up with you guys in a second. Hey guys, so there's, I mean it's completely dark out so it's going to be horrible lighting, but I'm just in my basement. But basically I totally forgot to film like literally anything at dance, so this really isn't going to be much about my day in the life at dance, but basically I get home around like 7, because um, I, so I get there around 3.30 and I come home around 7, so I only had two classes today. And I was just ballet and point like I said, and we did um, variations in point. And we did the Sugar Plum Fairy, which was not horrible. She was not that bad. Which, I mean, like, I was kind of worried because it was going to be my first time doing it this year. And um, it didn't go horrible. It was fun. Then I just ate dinner. And I'll probably stay up super late as I usually do. I usually stay up till midnight. I try to go to bed a little before that. That may be really late for you or that might not be very late for you. Um, and then I'll probably take a shower tonight. Um, but that's really all I have left. If you guys have any questions, like I said, about my homeschooling situation and anything like that, comment that below. I finished school around 12. The only thing I didn't get a chance to get done, grammar. And my grammar, because I need my mom's help with that, and um, I couldn't, she just couldn't help me at the time. But I'll either do it later tonight, or I'll just do it tomorrow. I don't have actually a whole lot of schoolwork on my schedule as you guys saw this week, so I'll definitely have time for it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you want to see more kind of homeschooling day in the lives, I'll try to film it maybe a little better next time. Um, but if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe right down below. Give us a big thumbs up so we can all be pals, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.